Hello, Leos. This is your reading for the second through the third. This is for Leo. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter signs. What's going on for Leo? If you're new to the channel, welcome, guys. Please hit the like button, share the video, and subscribe. This reading will not resonate for everyone. But if only some parts resonate, then only take those parts, guys. Don't try to make it fit if it doesn't, okay? Leo. Queen of Wands. Hmm. A lot of you are excited about something. Um, I feel like right now you're kind of you're kind of evaluating. Um, but I think there's something that you find very attractive. Um, an opportunity, a person even here. But you're feeling in your element. Um, but I get that, you know, usually you're very confident, but right now I'm getting that you guys are probably not so sure, not about yourselves, but about whatever it is that, um, you're finding, um, very attractive or alluring right now. Interesting. Okay. Six of Swords. Maybe some of you are interested in traveling to someone. There's some knowledge that you guys have come into that I feel like you're really kind of, you're really taking a hard look at if this is going to be something that you should move towards. But I get that you're feeling that you're kind of going back and forth if you should move forward with this um, opportunity, this situation, or should you just continue with what you've been doing? Okay, you're trying to figure something out here. Eight of Wands. Again, um, traveling, communicating. There, there. I feel like there's somebody that you want to share some knowledge with. And maybe some of you need to travel to this person in order to... Um, to divulge this information. Some of you are needing to travel to a job. Like maybe you need to move in order to, you know, accept the position even. It's a king of cups there. Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. Huh. Hmm. Maybe some of you are rethinking communicating with this water sign energy right here or just moving on and just letting it be. And they're thinking about you as well. I feel like this person cares for you right now. They're angry. This person seems kind of angry here. And the emperor. Yeah. You're trying to figure out whether or not you should, you know, go towards something or not. Okay. Because I think that you guys have, you have a choice between either being by yourself and moving on or moving on with someone. And I think you're trying to figure out whether or not, you know, it's necessary for you to make the first move or should you just let it be? Should you communicate with this person? Hmm. Should you leave a job in order to establish your own business even here for some of you, okay? The Knight of Coins. Huh. You guys have a Taurus individual, I feel, in your midst. And... Um, this Knight of Coins is on the go. If you notice in the other decks, um, the horse is like, it's not moving. But this person has realized some information about you guys that um, they want to come to you because they know you're not coming to them. Okay? They want to communicate some loving messages to you. And they want to move forward with you. 
And I don't know if you guys are blocking them or you have blocked them out. You've blocked communication. You've stopped contacting them. But um, there, there's something uh, that they want to, to say to you. And they may need to travel to you here. Hmm. And if this is not an individual, this is your energy having like really taken an inventory of, you know, everything that has happened, um, what can happen, the possibilities, and like you're really ready to move forward with being your own boss here, you know, moving away from a job, maybe even having to relocate to do so. Then we have the Six of Wands. There's, I feel like definitely for some of you, if this is a job, there, there's something that I feel like you need to travel to do. Um, but I, I think that you will be very successful in this. You feel as though you would be very successful in this as well. Okay. I think that, you know, if you're wanting to... I'm feeling more so that somebody wants to communicate with you. But I'm not feeling that you want to communicate with them. I'm feeling that you guys probably feel like you would be more successful by yourself. You know, that you could get some something or somebody that's better suited for you. Is what I'm feeling here. I feel like you guys are very attractive. Um, you know, people are drawn to you. And you're having a lot of success in your life right now. And I feel like somebody sees that. And it may be someone that has Taurus and Leo in their chart as well. Somebody sees that in you. Yeah. They want to start over. They want to start over. They want to offer you something. But I think they need to see if you still have that spark. If you still, if you still are attracted to them. If you still want them. But there's also something that you guys are starting here with this business. The car jumped out there. Yeah, the strength. This person's trying to find the strength to approach you. This is somebody that wanted to be single before. That felt like they could get anybody that they wanted. Very passionate about you. But they've, they've like... They've really rethought a situation and feel like they can have success with you but they're trying to find the strength to come towards you but they're very excited about it very excited about it here this water sign energy is not happy about this whoever this is and i, I get that this is probably a separate individual here I think this other individual, this Taurus Leo energy, is somebody totally different. Somebody totally different that you're probably not even expecting here. Somebody who you chose to move away from before. Probably before this water energy. The five of coins. Yeah, this person before this Taurus individual is somebody that's very hurt, somebody that you possibly left out, um, left before in the past. They felt very rejected. This person's coming back. They're coming back, and there's something that they want to tell to you. And I feel like before you guys also felt like rejected very hurt behind this and maybe you felt like this person wasn't there for you they felt like you weren't there for them um i think this is a shared feeling okay but now i think this person's wanting to come back with this six pinnacle and give you what you feel like you deserve here Okay, because maybe before you guys were contributing way more um, than this person and now you just kind of block them out. But at the same time, you know, they've kind of reevaluated things and kind of came to this conclusion that, hey, maybe I didn't do everything that I could do. All right. So we have um, 
we have Aquarius here, Sagittarius energy, Aries, Taurus, um, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, guys. 